find your lack of faith disturbing. Perhaps you are not as strong as the Emperor thought. Disclaimer. The opinions expressed in the following are used for the purposes of parody, criticism, and comment. They are satirical comments about people behaving badly and in no way are attacks on any person or persons involved. Karen's Canadian cousin, Soft Sit Darren, being sweaty and dirty from all of his traveling, wanted to wash up. However, he didn't have any soap. So he and his traveling buddies stopped at one of the local stores to buy a bar. And wouldn't you know it, he left his mask nowhere. We got all these teenagers here telling me that I can't be here and I have to leave this behind. But here's the way the law works. They owe me two bucks. I'm going to leave this money behind. Okay. You can put that away then. So, you guys owe me two bucks? And uh, you're going to get charged. Leave right now. We didn't accept it. Leave right now. We just paid her. No, 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 no. <laughs> There's the $5 bill. We are yes. not accepting that $5 bill. It hasn't been stamped. There we go. I paid for it. I paid for it. Leave that right now. Leave. I just uh, paid five bucks for three dollars worth of soap. Why? Leave right now. Mm -hmm. So you, to you can't dollars. just do that. Well, this, don't hey, touch me. Why are you not going to tell? Don't touch me. Right there. Because they're they're all they're all yelling at me. Soft sit Darren can't figure out why they are yelling and won't take his money. If they would just give him the change for his bars of soap, he could be on his way. Weird. Anyway, that's that's five bucks. You guys have my money. It's right there. Well, yeah, I do. Thank you, Dave. We can go, see? But Dave did touch me, so I may or I may not call the police. Dave. Soft sit Darren, being a sensitive soul, doesn't like being touched. His personal space was violated, and that may warrant the police getting involved. Dave, don't, Dave. Thanks, Dave. That's Dave from Dave's No Frills. I just paid five bucks for three bucks worth of soap. Oh, I gotta buy soap. I gotta shower. My God, what a horror! This one here. You're under arrest for assault. You're under arrest, guys. This is a citizen's arrest. Not wanting to wait for the police to get there, soft sit Darren takes matters into his own hands and initiates a citizen's arrest. That'll teach Dave to violate his personal space by touching him. Dave from I Dave's No Frills. Now... You are under arrest for assault. Two counts. Yes. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you I say can problem. and will be used against you in a court oh, of law. Okay. Hey, I have to take this man into custody. No, I have to. Yeah. No. I have I to got touch a him. In my face. Okay. okay. He's now in custody. Yeah. Fuck no, you're not going anywhere. No, you're you're under arrest. I said. This is citizen's arrest for assault times okay. two. I'm glad you're taking this. Okay. Thank you. Citizen's arrest. Nuh uh, Dave, you're not going anywhere. Get out of my face. No, you're under arrest. Oh. No, Dave, this is citizen's arrest. Hey, you guys saw it. Hit me twice. I had to defend myself against this guy. Uh, he's you are face under face. arrest, Dave. White hair, glasses, black pants, black shoes, gray hoodie, black and yellow. Hey, citizen's yeah. arrest. He's not going anywhere till the cops get here. Oh, that's perfect. No, you're not going anywhere. Yeah, it is Stay perfect. right where you are. Yeah. And I have three others in the parking lot. Now keep the camera there. on this guy. Ah, you stay here. You stay here, Dave. Yeah, it needs to be now. Okay, Citizen's arrest here, sir. That's all. Please don't get involved. Yeah, you got to. Thank oh, you. Yeah. All right. So I'll sit. Darren will have his sweet justice when the police get there. This cannot stand. No, stay here, Dave. You're uh, not going any. Nah, stay here. You, have no you are in custody. Do you understand? You are yes, in custody. He and he's trying to put me under a citizen's arrest. I already, I already have. I've arrested this man. Oh. Citizen's arrest. I need the police here immediately. Yeah, you need to go away. Okay? No, he's under arrest. Citizen's okay. arrest. You're not going anywhere, Dave. Yeah. Stay here. No, we're not dead, actually. I just made a citizen's arrest. Yeah, you just... Off, leave him alone. Back off. 
No, you leave him alone. He's in custody Wrong. right now. There's already one assault right charge now. coming. Yeah. He's got, there's two. He has a Nope, get out of here. You're you. in his face? You get out of here. You're not wearing a mask? He's in custody. Face? Get out of here. Back off. Yeah. Six feet, please. Back, Back off. off. Six feet, please. Back okay. off, sir. You're under arrest for assault. Back off, sir. You're under arrest for assault. Back off, sir. You're under arrest for you don't assault. Need to be out here in anyone's you are under like arrest that. for assault. Arrest me. You are now in custody. Touch me. Touch me. Arrest me. Sir, both these guys. Yeah. Both these guys, right? This must be his lucky day. A man coming to help Dave tells soft sit Darren to get six feet away as he has no mask on. And in the process, violates Sobsit Darren's personal space by using his hand to push him away. He tells the approaching policeman that he has two men under arrest. Haha, <laughs> that'll show them not to touch him ever again. Oh, both these guys. Here we go, no, here. Give me a call. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. I made a citizen's arrest of this man. All right, right here. Oopsie. I don't think this is what Sobsit Darren had in mind. I ate. Right, Dave? You have the right to the lawyer? I don't okay. And you don't have to say anything. I, I caught, hey guys. Say maybe give it evidence, okay? Guys. All right, come with I me. I made a sit. Come, come with me. Sure. Sure. Come with me. I made a sit. You're talking to a lawyer or something you've heard of. I made a sit. Sure. 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 Yeah. I'm yeah. not to talk okay. to a lawyer. Okay, guys. We'll be okay. back. All right, guys. Listen up. Go ahead. Sir, I made a citizen's arrest. Get in the car, please. Okay, I'm getting it. Get in the car, please. Guys, I made a citizen's arrest. Can you back up just a bit, please? Thank you. Gentlemen, okay, I made a citizen's arrest. Dave assaulted me twice. It's all Once in the store, once out here. I made a legal citizen's arrest. All right. He's in custody. All right. You guys have to take him into custody now. No, we don't. Yes, you do. No. Yes, you absolutely do. Okay. Guys. What, what's going on? Guys, Please get in the car. I will. No, nope, you'll get in now. Guys. Why won't the police listen to him? He made a citizen's arrest, damn it. This isn't fair. Sir. You will get in the car now. I made a you legal will citizen's get in the car now. Sir, 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 get sir. in the car. Okay, come on, man. Get in the car. Okay. No, I'm tired of waiting. Get in sir, the car. I'm just trying to, I'm wondering why. You want to talk to a lawyer? Get in I the car. I would love to talk to a lawyer. Get guys. in the car, man. But I'm curious about why it is I've made a citizen's arrest. I did it live on Instagram. If you want to, and you're arresting you, me live on Instagram. It's yeah, I did it's not the new courts. Get in the truck, please. It's not the court, sir. Why won't this policeman accept his legal citizen's arrest? He recorded it on Instagram and everything. I mean, if it, you want to give me a statement, then by all means, I will take well, one I get, from I get you. Dave assaulted get in me the car. twice. Okay, so are you going to arrest Dave? No. Get in the car. Well, why not? Because I just told you no. Get in the car. Well, we. We made a citizen's arrest. All right, you have five seconds before I drag you into the car. You guys got badge numbers? Go. Okay. Yeah, six triple three four. What's that? What is yeah, it? You heard me. No, yeah, didn't. No, actually, we did. I okay. only have to no. give it to you okay. once. Okay, yeah. Here, guys, nope. just there's my nope. soap. Yeah, grab a here, soap. This is my soap. All right. All right, get in the car. Do you mind if I ask why you're not taking Dave into custody? Just get in the truck, man. Well, sir, this but... is not looking good for you. Sir. Press I, I, your I'm assault charges. Truck. Like, it's two assault charges. Get in the yep. truck, man. Do it. And now, now. Hey, 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 this is not That's called way. for. Police oh, there. this is gonna go wild, guys. Bad, guys. Well, Softset Darren isn't happy, so he refuses to get into the police vehicle willingly. The police are forced to violate his personal space and get him in themselves. I think he will find more than his personal space violated when he gets booked into jail. This just isn't Softset Darren's day. Ha ha, Karen! Later that night, soft sit Darren's nephew, First Amendment auditor Darren, saw a traffic stop by his house and decided to take his dog for a walk. You are a cord, that's fine. You either need to be down there or down there. Hang me right here, I'm good. Okay. I'm comfortable right here. I'm not obstructing anything. So. You need to record in front of this car? Oh, yeah. I don't need you near my car. You need to be behind mine. 
You were doing good for a second here. I understand what you'd like, but this is why we're here. This is why I'm here. First Amendment auditor Darren doesn't understand why his recording on the sidewalk during a traffic stop is such a big deal. I mean, he's just out walking his dog. Him seeing the traffic stop and happening to record it is just a coincidence. So that you can observe, that's fine. Okay. You can observe. So what was wrong with me being right in front of your car? For my safety, I don't know you. I have to pay attention okay. to this. Would you like me to go in front of your car? Either in front of my his car. Yes. Please. And then I can't observe you. Observe you. You can observe. Me. Hey, I need you to that way. But I don't want you in my blind spot when I'm trying to run his license. And All right, I'll stop just for yours right here. Yeah. So I either need you to be behind mine. Okay. Like I'll be right here. You can see me. That's just for yours. Thank you. Yeah. You because know, we don't want you to be scared. First Amendment Auditor Darren seems to forget that his phone has Zoom capabilities, so he doesn't need to stand near the policeman to view him. And he doesn't care to understand that a policeman cannot be distracted because it can be potentially hazardous to his health and the health of those around him, including First Amendment Auditor Darren and his dog. I just divided attention. I understand. Okay. I need to complete my stop with him. I understand. And you're taking me away from I, uh, I'm not taking you away from anything, but go ahead, continue. First Amendment Auditor Darren hears the officer saying that he can't have his attention divided and says he understands, but then says he is not taking the officer away from anything. Never mind that the officer had to stop to deal with him, thus keeping the person in the car waiting while the officer had to deal with this new situation. Oh, we got another officer. I'm in front of your car. What's that? I'm in front of your vehicle. I'm no, I'm not obstructing. I'm not obstructing. It's my best position right here. I'm safe. I'm on a public sidewalk, you guys. I'm you safe, okay? I'm not obstructing. Okay. Whatever you guys want to say, I'm not obstructing okay. you guys, okay? If we have to come up and deal with him. Yeah, sir. In a moment. When I'm done with him. I'm going to get him out of here in a minute, but I got this one out, okay? All right. Just a minute, okay? All right. okay. I got Thanks. down the street. All right. <clears throat> My partner, this is right. the way that we walk to this vehicle, okay? If something goes bad... I am a, a far distance from you guys. It's my my right to be where I'm standing, and if I get in harm's way, then it's my right to be in harm's way. <gasps> First Amendment Auditor Darren, not content with his vantage point behind the police car, decides he will stand where he wants, damn it. If he gets hurt, should something happen, it will be his responsibility. However, he forgets that he's also responsible for his dog. And right now, he is only caring about himself. That's fine. I don't need you guys to keep me out of harm's way. Mm, your job is a lot of different things, but I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm a grown adult. I can make decisions of what is harmful or not harmful. You could just go finish your job with him, and then we wouldn't be we wouldn't be in this position. I'm not taking you away from anything. Am I forcing you to do anything, officer? No, but I've okay. asked you to I'm not. stand more in front of my car so I can see you. You can see me right here. You, I was right, you said in front of your car so you can see me. No, I'm not. Yeah. 
tell you what, I'm going to have my partner stand right here with you. That's, you can have him do whatever you wish. Okay. Whatever, whatever makes you feel more, con that's fine, whatever makes you feel more comfortable. I'm going to get him out of here. Whatever makes you feel more comfortable. I'm not stopping you. The police officer having backup to babysit First Amendment Auditor Darren means that is one less police officer being able to deal with a true emergency should one arise. That'll be a problem for you, not for me, but okay. I'm on a public sidewalk, you guys do not understand? I'm not in the middle of your truck stop. This is called a public sidewalk. Your truck stop is in obviously in the road. So, First Amendment Auditor Darren seems to think that unless he is occupying the same space as the cars on the side of the road, then he is free to walk on the public sidewalk as he sees himself as no threat. However, due to his lack of situational awareness and lack of caring for the person patiently waiting in their car, he is seen as a potential threat by the officers. Now, you guys' uh, names and badge numbers since you contact me? Officer Stutz on 898. 898? Your name or info, sir. Officer Ruckman, Vietnam 885. All right. Thank you, guys. What's your name? I don't need to. Okay, just asking. All right. Sounds good. Anything else you want to talk about? No. I'm done you... with him now. We can sit and talk. No, I don't need to talk. Maybe another day. Okay. I'm busy tonight, but, yeah. you know. Have a good night. I would love have to have a conversation, conversation with you guys another day. Sure. All right. Have a good one. Because First Amendment Auditor Darren was too busy with his first audit, his poor dog never got the walk it needed. I am sure he will tell his uncle Sovsit Darren and his cousin Karen all about the fun he had that night.